allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Ingleside, I had a great weekend. How about you, Gavin? I also had a pretty cool weekend. I went to Rock and Taco Street Street Fest. It was awesome. That's cool. Did you know that Nash Saturday was National Crab Fest? No, I didn't know. That's probably my favorite seafood, though. Speaking of ocean creatures, did you know that the Trump administration is removing landmark water protections? This new policy eliminates nearly all protection for waterways in one of our favorite arid states, Arizona. Now let's hear some more positive news from Peyton. What's up, Ingleside? Baseball and volleyball have had its first game against Mojave on Thursday, and the next game is a ho home game today. Outside of Ingleside Sports News, there is a game tonight between the Browns and the Jets at 5.15. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Ben. Now a special weather report from Ben. Today is a high of 100 and a low of 79 degrees. Wow, it's finally getting into the 70s. It's getting colder each day. Speaking of getting colder, here's the new Frozen trailer. I'm so excited to see my fluffy, snowy friend, Olaf. Here's the trail. lands and into the unknown. But be careful. We have always feared Elsa's powers were too much for this world. Now we must hope. I won't let anything happen to her. And now on to the news with Antonio Brown. He left the Steelers over the summer and he signed with the Raiders. But he asked for a release over a helmet. So the Raiders dropped him, and the next day he signed a one-year deal with the New England Patriots, worth up to $15 million with a $9 million signing bonus. So who knows what, he, what will happen to Antonio next. Did you know that, 18, that an 18-year-old in Illinois was said to have the lungs of a 17-year-old due to vaping? Oh my gosh, when will we learn? He may never be able to play sports again. How about some more positive news? Did you know that today is National Coloring Day? Wow, really? Yep, I'm just counting down the days until colorful, colorful fall arrives. Only 11 days left. Man, those leaves in the fall are pretty. Well, see you then. Bye, Angleside. Gosh, I'm done with social studies.